God, can I trust you? Or maybe the real question is, who can we trust? Get a cup of coffee, get a Bible, get ready, because the Lord has a word for you today. Oh. Blessed is a man that trust is in the Lord, and whose hope the Lord is. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters, and that spreadeth out her roots by the river, and shall not see when heat cometh, but her leaf shall be green, and shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. Jeremiah chapter 17, verses 7 and 8. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. Romans chapter 8, verse 28. And I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, and in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, and from the noisome pestilence he shall cover thee with the feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Psalms chapter 91, verses 2 through 4. Casting all your cares upon him, for he careth for you. 1 Peter 5, 7. But the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. He is their strength in the time of trouble, and the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. Psalms 37, 39 through 40. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed. Trusting in the Lord, his heart is established. He shall not be afraid until he sees his desire upon his enemies. Psalms 112, 7 and 8. But we had the sentence of death in ourselves that we should not trust in ourselves, but in God, which raises the dead who delivered us from so great a death and doth deliver, in whom we trust that he will yet deliver us. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 9 and 10. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, in Psalms 46, verse 2. Through God we shall do valiantly, for he it is that shall tread down our enemies. Psalms chapter 60, verse 12. What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. In God I will praise his word. In God I have put my trust. I will not fear what flesh can do to me. In God have I put my trust. I will not be afraid what man can do unto me. For thou hast delivered my soul from death. Wilt not thou deliver my feet from falling, that I may walk before God in the light of the living? Psalms 56, verses 3 and 4, verse 11, and verse 13. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. What? Are you serious? Yes. Psalms 118, verses 6 and verse 8. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Psalms 121, verse 3. They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abideth forever. Do good, O Lord, unto those that be good, and to them that are upright in their hearts. 
Psalms 125, verse 1 and verse 4. He that handleth the matter wisely shall find good, and whosoever trusteth in the Lord, happy is he. What? Are you serious? I love the word of God. Proverbs 16, verse 20. Every word of God is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. Psalm in Proverbs chapter 30, verse 5. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory and the lifter of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy hill, Saleh. I lay me down and I slept, and I awakened, for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me round about. That is Psalms chapter 3, 3 through 6. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Are you serious? That is Proverbs 34, 22. Hold up my goings in thy paths, that my footsteps slip not. I have called upon thee, for thou wilt hear me, O God. Incline thy ear unto me. Hear my speech. Show thy marvelous loving kindness, O thou that savest by thy right hand, that which put their trust in thee from those that rise up against them. Keep me as the apple of thy eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings. Can you be serious? Are you serious? Can you be the apple of God's eye? I know, I know what you're saying. Israel's the apple of God's eye. But you can be also, if you are born again, trusted in the blood of Christ, you can be grafted in and be also the apple of God's eye under the covenant of Abraham, the seed of Abraham by faith. Don't get me started. That was Psalm 17, 5 through 8. It's time to trust in the Lord. It's time to lean not to your own understanding. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. And in all your ways acknowledge the Lord and he will direct your path. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. It's time that we get the word of the Lord in our lives. It's time, blessed are the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in that law he meditates day and night. You know, David said, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff. They have comforted me. Thou hast anointed my head with oil. My cup is running over. I, I'm going to tell you something. Psalms 1, Psalms 23, throughout the entire Bible, everywhere you look, God is making a provision for the body of Christ. He's making his precious promises unto us. For the Lord is not slack concerning his promises, as some men count slackness, but he's long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but all come to repentance. It's all in the word of, the, of God. It's all right here in the powerful anointed word of God. But Christ is coming back soon. That's another promise. And we can see the signs of his coming all around. So you can hear of wars and rumors of wars, earthquakes in divers places, catastrophes, tsunamis, volcanoes, super volcanoes waking up in places like Italy. 6.9 earthquake just recently hit Japan. Uh, more wars. Israel's attacking Syria. Israel's attacking Lebanon. Uh, Iran's threatening to annihilate Israel. America is getting involved. Russia's getting involved. It looks as if North Korea is now getting involved. There's the potential of a World War III scenario. And the Bible told us that in the last days, these days would come. Are you saved? Have you put your trust in the Lord? Have you put your trust in Jesus Christ? You say, Pastor, I'm not saved. How do I get born again? Well, whosoever calleth upon the name of the Lord, they shall be saved. I can help you if you want me to pray with you. Send me a personal message right here on this YouTube channel and title it, I want to be saved. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. Let me pray with you. Jesus Christ will save you in Jesus' name.